auxiliary power unit if you're watching this video it's because you probably have some issue with your apu and if you do not have an apu and you want to know what it is trust me you definitely need it you definitely need to figure out what's wrong so that on uh, during summer you have cold air in, uh, in your truck or during winter you have heat in your truck now what is the apu that box right there you see the fart it's yellow right now now when i flip it to cold that's all the way down here as you can see it's all the way down to cold this is heat that is cold right there that is fan heat fan and cold right there and my fan is all the way up so i crank my fan all the way up and i have it on the ac and you can see i have a yellow fault and the apu that's what it is that's what it does it gives you cold air on your truck or it gives you heat in your truck for winter or for summer like these guys they didn't have any apu and they had your truck running all night not just diesel burning but also if you get to forget ab about your truck running or on the battery yes you uh, you're gonna have some issues so as you can i don't know if you heard that but the apu just just kicked in and it's on see the, the foot right there it's not working i put my hand on the fan out air blowing but it's not cold now that is the apu box again this is under my bunk that's my bed right there that's another bed up there it's under my bunk it's like a storage this is like a storage but you need to give it some space it says here six uh it says here replace air filter every six months right there i use and, and that and that's the number of the filter right there nine two dash five seven zero one and it's recommended to give like three inches space right here between the apu unit or box and and, and then uh, and, your, and your stuff you do not want to have everything stuck down there no you do not want to do that so right now my apu is not working properly and we need to debug it we need to troubleshoot it and find out what what was the issue with it and what, what i noticed already because i was down here and i noticed some stuff before i take you out there on the apu unit i'm going to take you out there so we can see together what's wrong with it so let me open it let me open my my apu right there here that's open that's open open it back here also snap open snap open open right there and that's how it looks like on the inside being open like this is definitely going to shut down all right it will shut down now i had this guy like that i tell you why that's how it looks like okay it's running right now that's my wires there's nothing like nothing it, 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 it's, it's not jamming there at all everything looks fine everything is okay you see my filter it kind of still neat brand new but every three six months or so you want to replace that at least once a year you want to replace that important but look everything seems very fine until i find this until i find that right there you see that that screw i see that screw right there yeah it's it's loose right there it's loose you have another one right there it's loose so when i move it see that it's moving again this is the truck it shakes it moves all the time it's a free liner it's a shake liner see it's not it's not completely sealed so i need to tie that cover the top of my apu box under my bunk and see if it works but before let me take you outside let me take you to the apu unit outside right now let's see what it is it's still it's still yellow but let's go outside 
and see the APU and inspect. Let me take you outside and show you where the APU is. I'm not gonna cut this video. I wanna, I wanna leave it running. That's the outside of the truck. That's the right side of the truck. I'm gonna go around to the APU side. This is where the APU is. You can hear it running. It is running. So we have power. It is running. So I'm gonna stop everything and inspect and have that. Like I said, I'm gonna stop everything, inspect it, have that loose screw tightened, and then we're gonna see if it works. All right. So you stay tuned and find out. Yeah, and that's what the APU does. It's gonna keep your TV. The fridge, your microwave, every all, ele all electric compartment running when the truck is down. You know you're gonna run out of your battery. So yes, we're gonna have those screw tighten and see if it works. Stay tuned and let's find out. Hopefully it helps you too. Before before we come back to the to, to fixing it, right now it just shut down. Now it's all red. It just shut down. Every, nothing is working anymore. That's probably because I had the cover, the cover of the, AP, of, the, of, the, of the APU box open and that crank, see the crank I showed you? Right there, it's loose open. So I'm gonna tie that, that screw and make sure that it's covered and have probably a brand new uh, filter we place on this. That is where the air for the AC is going, right there and right here and that is for the the heat right there that's the heat all right so let's do that and if you were to inspect if you were to if you wanted to plug if you wanted to plug your computer to find out as you troubleshoot and to find out for code i just open i just open my side and this is the APU thing now? Do I have? Yep, right there. See that right there? You will plug your computer on this thing. That's probably the fuses right there. That's the APU box fuses and stuff. But I think I think my issue is coming because it's loose. So I'm gonna tie that that thing. I'm 2,053 hours on this APU, so I shouldn't have issue right now, but. Let me try that and let you know if it works. That's where you will check for codes, APU codes, if you have a computer. All right, you all. After doing everything that I did, I set myself up and then I'm back. Uh, waiting here for like 15 seconds, maybe one minute to see if it's gonna turn yellow again. Because right now you, you can see it's on the cold. And I have the fan on. So let's see. Well, let me let me turn the fan off. Well, no. So if it's if it's working, uh, right now it's not blowing cold air, but it's blowing. Yeah, it's blowing cold air. Maybe it worked. So yes, people, do that. Make sure the cover is tight. Make sure you have oil in, in your APU, do your maintenance, and keep things away, three inch, at least three inch away, at least three inch away from, a, from your thing. Three inch away from the box. Hopefully it works. Oh yeah, I can feel, I can feel it, cool air, oh well, thank you for watching, and stay safe out there, summertime, you need this, wintertime, you need 
the heat. Stay safe. Until next time. Oh, oh. See that? All right. That means it didn't work. Guess what's the next step? All right. I, I, I thought I had it done. For right now, what we're going to do, we're going to keep it on the fan. I turn it off. Turn it back on. See? It's on the fan right now. So I will turn the fan on and have the fan blowing. You will hear that in a second. I have only the fan blowing so I can have at least a fan. I can have F. There we go. I can have air going. All right, that's the least I can do for right now until I take it into the shop. This is real life. I'm not making up any, any stuff. I did everything in front of you. Stay blessed, y'all. Now that was Sergio. Dear Petit Voyager, next time.